Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Insider. I'm here with Melissa Claire Egan from The Young and the Restless. Melissa, so good to see you. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, of course. I've, I've been wanting to talk to you anyway because what's been going on in the show has been so fun to watch. Come on, Chelsea. You can do this. It's all in your mind. what we just saw she's finally gotten out of her wheelchair so she's made very good progress what's what's next I guess because in some ways we know that now she can do a lot more than what she's been able to mm -hmm. is that is that kind of the next thing she can really start spinning the wheels and doing more yeah literally spinning her wheels on a wheelchair <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing that yes, yeah. spinning her wheels. <laughs> and um and yeah, and like I said, so you know, you mix in the fact that, that now she has mobility, but she's also not telling anybody that she can do all well, she tells Chloe. A D A Adam. Adam and Sharon. You know, she kind of confides only in one person about it. And so she has a lot of power in that. Everyone thinks that she can't, you know, get out of that chair and she can. So she can do all sorts of potentially destructive things that you might see and no one would think it's Chelsea because she's in a wheelchair right now. She can't right. move. So um, it kind of leads, uh, you know, everything up to the imagine. Like there's a lot that happens coming up, um, which I'm really excited for everybody to see. If other characters were in the spot, I might be worried that they now, might not be able to hold up the ruse, but I feel like Chelsea's very capable of this. Thanks, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see what the fans say. I think so too, like I said, because she's always had that kind of background. Now I think it's a little darker. It goes a little darker, um, but she can be a little two-faced, right? And so now she's being two-faced as well and putting on this ruse of I can't speak. Do you think she only sees Sharon as the enemy or is Adam part of that too? Because he's, you know, he's not the innocent victim. If, if, if what's happening between he and Sharon is actually happening, I mean, where's right. her, where's her fire really going towards? I think it's both. And it is because it's not, it's not just Sharon's fault. I think her hurt is more, um, Adam was someone who was supposed to be her protector and take care of her and this will be the love of her life. They've been through so much together. And um, uh, a lot of it's at Sharon, but a lot of the Sharon stuff is like rage and jealousy and insecurity coming from Chelsea. With Adam, it's, it's like, it's more rage and anger and hurt. Like, how could you do this to me while I'm in this vulnerable position? I know that you are upset. Quit dancing around this. I know you kissed Sharon, so have some damn courage and admit it. After everything I've done for you and, you know, so all those feelings, she's just had it. And she's, and she's you know, pretty rageful. I don't care if you ever come back. I'm going to be reunited with my son without you. Well, I'm excited to see scenes where we know she could actually say something or get up and she doesn't. Yeah. Is it, have, have you played some of those scenes yet? Has that been fun to do? So fun. It's, it's <laughs> a lot of, uh, we, have, we, we have more coming up. There's a lot, and like I said, we shoot about a month in advance. So okay. um, the stuff we're shooting over the next two weeks is really exciting too. But so far, yeah, there's been a lot of just, you know, him coming in the room and then just, sitting, you know, becoming very, relaxed in the chair and uh and all that stuff and then like i said um i won't give it away but a lot of kind of bad stuff starts to happen um in town and it's like you know who did that and it's like well not me <laughs> but nobody knows fun. so yeah okay. it's really so fun now if this were me and i had been kind of still for a long time i'd be thinking about what my first meal would be when i get out what is, what is Chelsea's go-to kind of comfort food? What would you think will be her first thing she has to eat? I think Chelsea's big cheat meal would be probably a cocktail and then maybe like a chicken parm or, you know, pizza. Just going to, you know, society and just living it up for a little bit because she's been okay. stuck at home for a while. Well, this is great. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with me about all this. <laughs>